very first developer preview of Android O is here. And as it is with every other Android update, we are excited. While we don't know what Android O will be called, my vote is on Oreo by the way, we do know of all the features that Android O brings. What's up guys, this is Rupesh from bbomb.com and I've been trying the Android O developer preview on my Nexus 5X for a while now. So here are 10 cool Android O features that you should definitely know. So let's get started. The first Android O feature I'm going to talk about is the improved notifications. Google has been refining the notification center since Lollipop and they're not done yet. Android O brings notification channels which lets you configure notifications of different categories of an app. Let me explain it to you. For instance, there is a notification from the Android system, like the battery notification. Well, you can just press hold on it to see different notification categories. Here you can set up the notification for all these categories. So you can make sure that you don't get notifications of screenshots, but get notifications of storage alerts. You can even set the importance if you want to see the badge or LED light or not. There's so much control. While no apps support this yet, that should change. Another cool notification feature is the ability to snooze notifications. This is something I already like. You can just slowly swipe a notification, tap on the clock icon to snooze it. You can snooze a notification for 15 minutes, 30 minutes or an hour. While apps will be able to update a notification, the updated notification will only arrive after the snooze time is over. Other than that, there's also support for notification badges something that users have demanded Google over the years. Well, it should be similar to iOS and various launches that support this. I certainly like the notification changes in Android. Like NuGet, Android O brings improvements to the quick settings. In Android O, tapping on the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth tiles in quick settings simply toggles the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth to on or off. However, you can still tap on the text under the icons to open the additional options. It saves a tap and I certainly like it more. What I don't like is the top, which is too densely populated with information. In fact, some UI elements overlap, confirming it's a developer release. You must have seen two shortcuts on the bottom corners of the lock screen in your Android device. While they're handy, especially the camera one, you must have wished there was an option to add custom shortcuts. Well, Google has heard you. In the system UI tuner options, there is a lock screen option that lets you set custom shortcuts for the left icon and the right. You can choose to launch an app, toggle a setting, or head to a particular page in an app. You can also choose to unlock the phone through these shortcuts. Another great addition. Yeah, we finally have some navigation bar customizations in Android O. It's not much, but it's there. In the system UI tuner page, you can change the layout of the navigation bar to compact, left leaning or right leaning. You can even add extra buttons like clipboard, key code or keyboard switcher. Considering this is just the first preview, I hope more navigation bar options arrive in the future updates. Android TVs have had support for a picture-in-picture -picture mode and it's finally coming to phones and tablets through Android O. So you will now be able to shrink an app to a floating window and multitask between other apps. In its current state, YouTube seems to support it as it includes a toggle for allowing PIP. However, even with the toggle on, I couldn't get Picture in Picture to work on the YouTube app. We should get a clearer idea of Android's PIP mode once some apps start supporting it. Nonetheless, it should be pretty good. Google has been trying to improve battery life on Android devices since Marshmallow, and the trend continues. In Android O, there is a high level of restrictions placed on app activities when the device is asleep. Background apps in Android O devices will only be able to ask for the location a few times in an hour. There will also be limitations when it comes to broadcasts and background services. There's a lot of technical jargon involved 
But the bottom line is that Google is working even harder to extend your device's battery life. Another change in Android O is the new redesigned settings page, which is an update or downgrade you decide. It's certainly more organized now, with various options bundled in one option, like network and internet. Also, the new minimal interface looks good. However, there's no hamburger menu which was introduced in Nougat, and I don't like the fact that the about phone and developer options have moved to a new system page. Android O brings adaptive icons, and while you can't see it in action in the first developer preview, it seems awesome. Adaptive icons, as the name suggests, are icons that will adapt to different home screen themes. So if you're using a theme with rounded icons, all apps with adaptive icons, which will easily switch over to a round shape. You must be wondering where are the theming options? Well, they seem to be coming in the future. Adaptive icons also get spacing on their sides for animations. Looks cool, right? Ambient Display has received some improvements in Android O, which I don't really appreciate. In NuGet, the Ambient Display shows detailed notifications, sometimes even displaying images. On the other hand, Android O opts to show just small app icons on the ambient screen. While this should preserve battery, I would have liked an option that lets you choose between details or just icons. I hope Google is listening. Installing apps from sources other than the Play Store has been pretty simple until now. Well, it's changing with Android O. In Android O, you'll have to allow installation from unknown sources on a per app basis. For example, if you've downloaded an app's APK from Google Chrome and you open it up to install it, you'll have to enable the install other apps option for Google Chrome. So when you try installing an APK from a file manager, or from any other app you'll have to separately give it the permission to install other apps you might not like it much i don't but it's supposed to enhance security android o brings various other minor changes and under the hood improvements but these are the 10 major features in android o considering it's the first developer release we can expect more features in future updates so what do you think do you like android o do let us know in the comment section below also give this video a thumbs up if you like it Subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.